at Kingsmead Stadium for the first of three T20 internationals. So good to have you with us. It is a format that both teams have been eagerly anticipating. And of course, South Africa made a strong statement of intent when it comes to their 50 over game, winning that series 3-0. Now we turn our attention to that shorter format. So Pakistan at bat and opening the batting with me. It's a very good afternoon to Kaz Smithies and Claire to Blanche. Hello, ladies. Good afternoon, Brett. Good to be back again with you for this T20 dash. Afternoon, Brett and Kaz. Yes, very excited today. T20, here we go. Swept away. This will probably go all the way to the fence over this fast outfield here at Kingsmead. It just straight down the leg side. And Pakistan away with the boundary. Yeah, just here in there, just in, in line there. Second ball of the day from Lava. Oh, and she does her first up. Perfect delivery. It might have come off the inside edge, but it was a lovely length. Good line, nip back a touch, and via the inside edge, it is cannon in the middle stump. Shot for four. Wow, that's excellent footwork. She shimmied up the pitch at touch and gave herself room, and has timed that to perfection. Slow ball, and the variation works a trick. An absolutely brilliant piece of bowling. Congratulations to Shivnam Isma, 400 wicket milestone. Yes! Popped up in the air, and that's the third wicket. Back of a length again, we've seen a lot of these deliveries used by the South African bowlers so far, and this one to good effect. Back of a length, just tucking the batter up. Full toss again, and this one is hit hard down the ground, and it will go for a boundary. Yabunga Kaka trying to make as much ground as possible, but unable to cut it off. And that's a nice strike. Full toss again, and this will be a repeat dose over mid-off this time, but uh, not the best over from Sune Luce. Four full tosses, and it goes for 12. Eight overs done, 45 for three. Mlaba returns, goes to Maniba. Beautifully paddled. It's such a clever stroke when there's no one at 45. Just edged back, so they'll get back for three. Good running. Can manipulate the field so well because if there's no one at 45 and you play that stroke and succeed, immediately the captain goes, where can I drag the fielder from to put someone at 45? Could be is beautifully taken at mid on. It was a powerful strike, but Sinead Luce doesn't drop much and went straight to her as well as it was hit by Maniba. The end of a useful hand from the diminutive left-hander. Up in the air, this could be taken, and it is comfortably in the end. That's a massive blow. Imtiaz was looking good with a for her 24. And now the fifth Pakistan wicket goes down. What a brilliant start that is from Dar. As we mentioned, in the ODRs, she was superb. Her first delivery, she gets it away. Great start from her, Angelique. Wow, that's brilliantly played. That's going to be back-to-back -back boundaries, just falling short of the rope. So that's eight from two from Nita Dar. And what a wonderful start from her. Striking at 400. Nadim goes airborne again. It's a difficult one for Sinai Lucy. Backtracks. Oh, did it pop out and did she take it again? She doesn't seem to think so. The smack of the hands from this angle looked like it had popped out and landed perfectly back in her hands. Mm. Change in pace. Yeah, the variation, the off cutter. Sinai Lucy does well. As she hits, it pops out. Oh, it's just between the hands. That's why. Into the deep. Ground to be made. Won't be. It's a one bounce four. That's a lovely clean strike by Nassim. It's her first boundary, but she's hurrying on at a strike rate of 120 now. 
Here's Murray's on cup into the 19th over. Smashed back overhead down the ground for four. That is a lovely piece of batting from Nassim. As straight as you like, a bold blow straight back over the umpire, splitting the two boundary riders. Great start to the 19th over. Up in the air it goes, ground to be made, beautifully taken. That is a super running catch by Shabnam Ismail. Cup's gone short and having been hit over the top wall off a good length. A really top effort there by the youngster. Shabnam Ismail, final over. Up in the air, oh, her innings is going to end with a soft catch to third man. Came and went, not enough of Aliyah Riaz for Pakistan. Ishmael gets the wicket, last ball of the innings, 123 for 7 Pakistan, Diana Baig, they'll run for all they're worth, they have to come back for a second here, no matter what the outcome, can they get through for two Brits throws, here's the shy, and is that out, there'll be a referral, gee that was good fielding again from the outer from South Africa, they had to go back for the second. Let's see, it's good throw, and she's gone. Umpire Mignon Dupria in the background has given it out anyway. <laughs> Great piece of fielding from the deep. South Africa's out cricket has been significantly superior than any stage in the ODIs. But Dana Baig is the last one to go. She's run out for two. I suppose in the end they'll be pretty happy to get into 124 for eight. They showed more urgency, they showed more intent. But I think there's something about that batting order that's got to be shuffled. Nazim came in at number six, the 16 year old, and brushed about her. Nita Dai, as she's been through the ODRs, was impressive. But they didn't have the start they wanted, and perhaps they've got to reconsider that top four. So there is the target. 125 for South Africa in the 20 overs allotted in this T20 international. Pakistan pretty good at the back end to get to 124 for eight. Oh. She played brilliantly placed. She just went with the shape of the delivery, opened the face, and that's the first boundary for South Africa. What a perfect start for Brits. That's brilliantly played. Just a little bit of width, slightly over pitch, but it was the width. As well, Lee's eyes just lit up thinking, OK, this is the kind of delivery I can go through the offside, and with the way it was pitched, meant she could go up and over. Five from the over. In the air, over mid on. This one was going to might just get away to the fence. It has lower, flatter hit. That's a good finish to the over for Lizelle Lee and for South Africa. Nine from it. It's 33 for none. Get you, get you. Pick the fielder out in the deep, holds out. That's a dangerous Lee, has hit it sweetly, but she's picked out the deep square leg. And Anwar gets her wicket. Nita Dar out in the deep has gone. I, I think she lost it. I actually think she lost it in the old stand away to the west and perhaps even into the setting sun. But Lizelle Lee has picked her out perfectly. Oh, nearly drags it on. These are going to be fortunate runs down towards a very fine leg. If they push hard, they may get back for the third. Oh, that's good running. That is really good running, Tasman Brits. And there's no one backing up. Oh, hello. I tell you what, that was sloppy running from Marizan Cap. Is there another angle perhaps you had to look at? There's a different angle from behind. Let's see when the background. Oh, I tell you what, it is so tight, so tight. Here it comes. Is it in? Is it out? She may just get the benefit. She has just got the benefit of what little or what doubt there was. Murray's on cap. Pulled out into the deep. Sweetly played for four. It was short and Brits has pounced on it and smashed it away through forward square leg for the boundary. Inventive shot, brilliantly played by Brits. Fully aware of where the field was, it was square. And not only is it brilliantly played, it's made its way to the fence. Oh, 
that's not a great start. That is really easy pickings. Definitely not what Pakistan were after. Change of bowler, looking for a change of pace, but unfortunately not backed up with the skills. The reverse sweep, nicely played. It's just a little bottom edge, but it's a teasing chase. There's the slide out, it'll just be two. South Africa moving inexorably to an opening victory as the 100 comes up in the 16th over. Oh, it's a missed stumping. That was the opportunity maybe for Pakistan just to do something. Oh, snuck through and hits Marazan Cup again. She's waiting for another review. Bowling coaches will be absolutely happy with that from every bowler in their team. I think there's a little fumble. That's what took the time. Oh, but she does recover brilliantly. Well done, Ali. Absolutely brilliant. She wouldn't have been happy if the ball popped out, but it was all about the recovery. And she's done a brilliant job of getting that back onto the stumps for the second wicket. And there's the signal. It's out. So they have lost their second. And is this the opportunity for Pakistan to turn things on their head? And I said she's strong through the offside, and how exquisite is that start to the innings? Business as usual. A lot of Wolfhart. Down the ground. And that brings up her 50. Everyone in the, the dress room and the dugout stands up and applauds. It has been a really good knock. She limited chances in the ODR series, but now at the top of the order, given the responsibility to go and play in his T20s. And she's answered that call. 51 deliveries, three fours. A very good effort. Yes, yeah, it's been brilliant. It's worked away and it could make its way to the boundary. It does. The placement is supreme from Volfar. Brilliant bit of placement. Just helped it on its way onto the leg side, which had to dissect the two boundary sweepers back square. Oi! Takes on the quick single and comfortably home. And that will bring up the victory for South Africa with an over to spare. And it's been really good. They lost the toss. And Pakistan have won four tosses on this tour so far, but uh, haven't been able to go in and win a match. This time, Pakistan decided to have a bat first, and only put up 124 on the board. And Brits has been the key in the run chase, chasing it down in the 19 overs. South Africa, plenty of success so far here at Kingsmead over the last 10 days. And another example of some quality cricket coming out on top. So the first T20 between South Africa and Pakistan has come to an end. South Africa winning comfortably in the end. Pakistan just posting 124 for eight. South Africa knocking it off with an over to spare and eight wickets in hand. So a comfortable victory by eight wickets. And the dugout stands up and applauds. It has been a really good night.